What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Blade Runner video, and an exciting one is we have a brand new teaser ahead of an all-new trailer for Blade Runner 2049 coming this Monday. For this video, I'm not going to go and break down the teaser frame by frame, it's just 15 seconds long, there's really not much to be learned from it, but there are a couple of key scenes that I wanted to discuss as they show off some cool new stuff, a new character, and they might give us a few clues about the movie too. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, there are, of course, a lot of repeated shots from the announcement trailer. Officer K walking in the street with that street cleaning device. Harrison Ford's Rick Deckard approaching with his gun drawn. Officer K walking through the sands to that, that building where it looks like Deckard is holed up. Uh, those, those kind of things are repeated. But in terms of new things, first up, there's a neat little callback, if you want to call it that, as a beaten and bloodied Officer K stares down at a gun in his hand, the same kind of pistol used by Deckard in the first movie. There's a good chance this is just the standard issue pistol blade runners use, but it also could be a more symbolic thing, kind of a passing of the torch from Decker to K. The second thing to note, the only words spoken in the trailer come from Robin Wright Penn, whose role up until this point we've had zero information about. I mean, personally, when she was announced for the movie, I thought she might have been a replicant just because Robin has that look to her, but now I'm not so sure. Her monologue, which kind of starts at the beginning of the teaser, talks a lot about order, saying there is an order to things. That's what we do here. We keep order. And after this, I've got a couple of new theories about her role, that she could potentially be an executive in the Tyrell Corporation, but given the shot we see her in, I'm more than willing to bet she's actually a Blade Runner herself, or potentially an LAPD captain, maybe a stand-in for the character of Bryant from the first movie. Some position of authority, more or less, but definitely Officer K's boss, it looks like. Next, we see a shot of a man in a white suit, standing on stage or some kind of raised platform surrounded by tables as Officer K approaches before the lights flip and the dais goes dark. Mark. If you look closely, the man on stage is either a hologram of Elvis, a replicant made to look like Elvis, or an Elvis impersonator, and it's good to know those might still exist 30 years from now. The setup of the stage and tables, as well as the Elvis bot, reminds me a lot of Vegas casinos, so this might be during a search for Deckard, and not a hunt for a replicant like I originally thought watching the teaser. The last thing I wanted to highlight really briefly is this scene, as Officer K is having just a little bit of a meltdown. Outside of the freakout, which to me is honestly the most compelling thing we see in the trailer, the background of the scene is also really, really interesting, as in sharp contrast to the dystopian setting of the original Blade Runner and the rest of this movie from what it looks like. This is a super sci-fi, super sterile looking white plasticky setting, maybe uh, a lab of some kind or a replicant creation facility or something like that. If it is kind of a replicant creation center, this might be tied into Jared Leto's character, who we know from our limited info is an obsessed replicant creator. As for exactly what Kay's freaking out about, your guess is as good as mine, but the odds on favorite is probably something to do with his replicant friend Joy, played by Ana de Armas, or potentially the reveal that maybe he's a replicant too. I know you guys are getting a little tired of the conspiracy theories, so I won't talk about that too much. That's gonna do it for me here, though. Let me know if you're hyped for the trailer on Monday, because I know I am. We'll have a full breakdown of that then, but that's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.